Hello and welcome to Beardy Tracks. Today we will be taking a short stroll from Shipley Glen in West Yorkshire into the village of Saltair via a Victorian tram and making our way to Salt's Mill to take a look at David Hockney's art gallery. And then finishing up at Saltair Brewery for one or two of their delightful beers on this rather blustery September afternoon as me and Emma set off from Baildon Moor. Good afternoon, Emma. <laughs> Good afternoon. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, not so bad. <laughs> Cheers. So today, where are we? Yeah, what is this part of the hood? Come on. Shipley Glen. Yeah, so we're going to walk down Shipley Glen out here. We were going to walk up the Elden Mar, but it's a bit too windy and we've sat off a bit too late, haven't we? Because we were drinking off a uh, all morning. So, so we're going to go down here. There's not too many people out today, it's not the usual crowd. Uh, we're going to walk down Shipley Glen, then we're going to get the Shipley Glen tram, which is like a Victorian tram, down into Saltair, and then we're going to go to Salt's Mill and have a pot around there. We might see Hockney Art Gallery, yeah. and then we're going to go to what's the Salt's Brewery and have a beer, and then walk on Canal, meet with Andy and Sarah and their little Baba Amos, and then um, we're going to go finish up at. I forgot it now. Salt Air Brewery. Uh, and that, is that and different to Salt? It is, yeah, there's two breweries. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. I actually didn't know that. So it's all happening in um, Shipley and Salt Air, isn't it? Um, salt Mill is a UNESCO site, it's a World Heritage site. So, yeah, so there's lots of things to see and do around here. Yeah. And this is kind of a beautiful walk to, you know, start from and, and walk down to it and see some things of interest so so let's go Shipley Glen is a sloped area of heather, rocks and picturesque woodland. It is a lovely peaceful sheltered place to go for a walk with family and friends and Emma. The stream that runs through it is Lord Pit Beck and runs all the way down the glen into the River Eyre. It is the back end of summer and everything was starting to fade. I think whatever season you come here it will offer something different. Like 
It's like a pandemic walk. Yeah, so basically I stood, remember when I stood in that bog and yeah, just you lost. Your shoe came off. Did you leave your shoe in it? I had to, no, I got, managed to get my shoe out of the bog. Couldn't put it back but it was just, and I could have, yeah. Could have died. Hypoth I could have died. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I could have, I could have been like a, a tray who's half. I could have been a never ending star. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so have we have uh, taken you to like somewhere where we can't walk. Brilliant. That's a nice glen, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not complaining. Yeah. What are your favourite glens? <laughs> glen Hoddle. Glen Campbell. Captain Cook. Um, Glenda Jackson, NIP. <laughs> Uh, Glen Stefan, no, that's Gwen, Gwen Stefan. Stefan. Yeah. We enjoyed our gentle stroll through the glen, admiring the pretty footpaths and last of the meadow flowers. heard this music from the distance I was just passing it off as Emma being built and hearing stuff but it sounds like there's an actual festival of some kind going on so uh, yeah uh, people <sighs> so uh, hopefully we can um, sort of get around it somehow <laughs> Emma I'm just going to stop see where the bloody hell we are right, <laughs> right. Right, let's carry on. Alright. Our next stop is Shipley Glen Tramway. So you can pay by card? Yeah. Right, it's okay. Silly me withdrawing money in this day and age. I know we did, I know. Yeah. Right. Are uh, looking forward to your uh, ride? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shipley Glen Tramway was opened to the public on May 18th, 1895. The tramway was powered by a suction gas engine, then town gas, and then oil in 1915, before being converted to electric in 1928. And it's a far 100 metre. Is that it? Yeah. I think it goes at maximum speeds of 7 miles an hour. So it's probably faster walking. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's set up for another hour. <laughs> I bet so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Originally built and operated as a way to ferry Victorian thrill seekers to and from an amusement park built at the top of the Wooded Valley in Yorkshire, the Shipley Glen Tramway has served several generations in a variety of capacities. We had a lovely short tram ride down into Saltaire to break up this walk. A single ride for an adult is £1.50 and £2.50 for a return. And it is not totally Victorian, as they do have a contactless card reader, so leave your shillings at home. Yeah, so we had a nice stroll through Glen, haven't we? Um, nice little Victorian tram, and now absolute techno, techno carnage. Yeah, so from fair now. Are we going to, are we going to go on any more thrill rides? We'll have a few pints. Yeah. And get on waltz. Well, the thing is, I don't think we can eclipse that thrill ride of the seven mile per hour uh, no, train. No, we can't beat that. Uh, we can't beat that.
I wasn't aware that it was actually Saltaire Festival today, which is a festival to celebrate local music and arts in the area. It was very busy. This did make it tricky to explore the places that I'd hoped to visit. The streets were packed out with the local community as we met up with Andy, Sarah and little baby Amos and then later Chris. Right, so here he is. So what did you get up to last night then? So uh, I went to my mate's house. Yeah. Uh, had a couple of beers which I shouldn't have done. Yeah. Um, left my car key there. Keeps in car key, house key. Yeah. Um, and then um, no one's in at my house and I've had to uh, sleep rough. <laughs> so I slept rough, went to my mate's house. What did you use as a pillow? A bag. Right. What do you use as a duvet? Uh, luckily I had my towels drying on washing line. Yeah. I used that as a duvet. Great, gl glamorous. You sound like you could do with a beer. I could do with a beer, mate. All right, let's, let's go for it then. Let's go. Yeah. If you need a change of footwear, I think then yeah. Yeah. Really? Change of clothes. We're going to go walk around Mill for a bit. We walked on to have a little wonder around the David Hockney Art Gallery, located in Salts Mill. I do, yeah, we've seen it. Uh, do you remember when we went to, this time last year, we went to... Um, yeah, Sculpture Park. We did, and we saw an eye way away, didn't we? We did, didn't we, mister? We did. <laughs> you were here then. Yeah. You were here. David Hockney is a world-renowned artist from Bradford. He is an important contributor to the pop art movement of the 1960s. He is considered one of the most influential British artists of the 20th century. The art gallery was fairly interesting, displaying some of Hockney's work and these recent portraits. One also been recently done of Harry Styles, which has been in the recent media. Are you looking for some furniture for your new house? <laughs> Yeah. Breakfast yeah, see Danny on that with Bilbo. Bit of culture, bungle. It's, isn't it funny, like a year ago we were having a similar arty trip. It's our annual art. Uh, One art gallery is yeah. about. Yeah. About. Fact of the trek, David Hockney was taught by my late grandfather, Eric Beedham, who was an art teacher at the Bradford School of Art. It is a small world indeed. The fallen Madonna with the big boobies. <laughs> Don't remember that? She hasn't got them. If you have a keen eye on art, then I think this is a good pilgrimage for all art fanatics. Because it was so busy, we didn't get opportunity to look round the rest of Salt's Mill, which is the mill owned by the famous Titus Salt. A woolen textile manufacturer who moved his entire business from Bradford partly to provide better living and working conditions for his workers and partly to site his large mill by a canal and railway. He created a village for his workers to live called Saltaire. We marched on along the canal towards Saltaire Brewery. Saltaire is a brewery based in Shipley and boasts a fine selection of traditional cask bitters and also now have some decent keg options too. We sat outside in the yard which is overlooked by the large silos and the old Victorian building they use for the brewing. It 
It seemed to be a popular spot for cyclists who cycle along the canal bank and it makes sense as a good stop off point for a few refreshing beers. What are you drinking then, mate? What are you having? Man's drink. Pint of bit for old fashioned bitter. I think he's going to be a cask bitter drinker. Shipley and Saltair was a nice place to have a walk, absorb a bit of culture and then finish up with some nice local beers. If you do come here be sure to also visit Salt Beer Factory and a lovely pub called Fanny's Ale House. So we had one last round before heading home with our new little trekking partner. Thanks for watching and bye for now.